Hey, yo, early birds and night owls. My name is Nox, aka Mako, and welcome back to Planet Coaster. Today, we're going to continue kind of sort of where we left off, which is uh, this is a second scenario here under Captain Lockjaw's Buried Treasures, which is the one that I kind of poked fun at being uh, a bit creepy sounding and creature awakened. So, let's just uh, get that. My parks, we could load previously saved parks. Wait, what? I don't think it works that way, does it? No. Okay, so we're just gonna jump into start a new scenario here so we can get this going. Let's see what, what you know, adjustments we have to complete this time. The last one was actually pretty easy. I didn't think I could really do it in half an hour because it seemed like we might have needed a roller coaster to make it go just a little bit faster, but that wasn't really the case in the end, and uh, we spent some money on marketing and stuff that we didn't really need to. Okay, so let's just uh, see here. Hire two janitors. That'll be... Well... It seems like Cthulhu is hiding under here or something. Anyway, you need to hire two janitors, build an, one, just one more ride, hire two mechanics, build another four rides, and then hire two entertainers and attract 1,000 guests. We are just a third of the way there, so we should probably just get into making... Jesus, that's so creepy looking. Into making rides. Now, let's see where the borders are here. Sorry, still getting used to the controls, so I'm gonna be a little bit weird, a little bit janky. What is the park here? Seems people might enter from from down here, further down in there. Can we actually see where they're coming from? I don't, I don't think we can. It's a little dark down there, you guys. It's very, very dark. Okay. Well, we're gonna. Oh, <laughs> it's totally right. Okay, we're gonna assume that that's where they come from, and we just have to build around here. I figure that. Let's see what is there here. There is some kind of track. Oh, it's like a little safari ride. Okay, that, that's that's okay. Let's see what kind of rides we have available to us right now. So we have a forge, a kickflip, psychola. There is a lot of litter in the park. Okay, wait. So we have to for sure hire a janitor right now. Let's get rid of that for one second. Uh, staff, pick up a janitor. I, ah, okay, I totally see it all. We should probably be placing bins here soon, but I want to place a ride down first so we can actually get to make some money. It seems all of these, oh wait, the whirly rig isn't that exciting, so we'll probably place it somewhere here at the beginning. I'll, I'll, I promise I won't be screwing up the, uh, <laughs> the, the bathrooms again. That's just, that was majorly messed up on my part. Well, I guess we can place the whirly rig right over here. So let's, let's see. I want to place it just a little further away. away. I can raise it just a bit, but I don't know if I really want to do that. It seems like it's clipping there. Nah. Let's lower it and it'll place whichever way I place it. So how about just placing it right there? Place itself right into the mountainside. Totally fine. Let's place the entrance about right over here and the exit will go... It connects up, huh? It can go right... Come on. There we go. Right there. Alright, so let's add... Uh, we could just add that. Which key was it giving us? I like the wooden one. I really do. I, I, so I'll, I'll keep that one. I want to keep the cues nice and short. I don't want to make it too ridiculously long. So you can go just from there into this ride, right into that there. Sorry, right from this path, right into the ride, which is good. Let's see how much this ride is. $4.00. Fair enough. I mean, it's not gonna, you know, make the most money ever. What's going on over here? A lot of litter, right? Okay, so let's add the bins right away. I five five. They they both cost the same, so it doesn't even matter. Aha! Yes, this totally is the park entrance. So we're gonna leave some bins by the park entrance, of course. And how about by this crossroads right over here? And maybe right after they get off the ride, can that can, is that gonna fit somewhere there? Maybe not because it's her. Oh found it. I found one. There we go. Okay. Hmm. What's over here? These are bathrooms, right? Actually, that's not bathrooms. That's Cosmic Cow, is it? I don't know, but there's no trash bins here, which is a little messed up. There should be bins there, and let's add some benches, too, for people to sit at after they're... after they purchase their food or whatever. So let's see. Bench there. Bench there. Totally exciting adding benches. Yep, I know bench around the corner. These benches won't make sense, but I mean, it's, it's around the uh, restaurant area, so I feel like it makes sense to me. So we need to hire one more janitor to complete that first objective, so let's do that, even though it feels like it might be overkill. There you go. And we completed the bronze objective. Awesome. 
So the next objective that we have to complete is uh, hire two mechanics and build three more rides. Which, that should be pretty simple. I mean, we have quite a few rides that we can use here. How many rides do we need to build in total? Just three more. So we don't really, I guess maybe we won't need another, ro another uh, round of... Sorry, let me start that over again. Maybe we'll need to build a roller coaster this time around. There we go. That's what I was trying to say at the right at the beginning, and that just didn't work. So over by the Whirly Rig, it's uh, very not exciting, and we're going to make sure that this area over here is a bit exciting with these rides. I feel like I should build like something over here, but I can't clearly build it here because... Oh, wait. I can build it here. That's going to be... Yeah. You know what? That adds to the excitement. So let's do that. Let's lower this just a bit up a little. There we go. So we'll build it up there, and we'll place the entrance just right here. This is going to get a little bit tricky, because when you're placing entrances and exits in a really weird place, it just gets super tricky. So let's build our path. Actually, I want to see the difference here. Okay, this is going to have to build it upwards. So I actually have not built upwards path before, so I'm going to screw around here a little bit just to figure it out. Let's see. You have tips for me or something? Help. <laughs> there we go. Raise the. Oh, oh, it's just the same thing. Really? Okay, this is getting a little bit. There we go. Okay, that, that was a little janky, but that connected eventually. So they'll be able to go around from here and get into this ride. And to get off, sorry, let me change this view here. To get off, they will have to go kind of around so they can get to the other rides around here. So let's make this path a little curvy over here to this side and curve this way. And I want to make sure that connects right. I don't like like paths that curve like, you know, too like abruptly or something like look like that. It looks just really freaking weird. I want to keep some kind of aesthetics despite the clear monster here. So let's uh, start from over here now. Oops. Okay. There we go. It looks a little... It looks a little weird. Whatever. Whatever. I'm happy with it. This ride is going to be open. And it's... Uh, it's oh, 850. Okay. Okay. That's a little bit of excitement. Make it, and, I mean, the queue is short. So I, I still hope that they don't complain about two short queues. We can add another ride here to make it even more exciting. You know, there's a whole roundabout of rides around the uh, the, the clear Cthulhu in the ground. So let's see, we can add a kickflip or a Psychola. Our money is not, you know, looking good. But we don't really have a thing to deal with money here, so we can probably go all the way in the red and still be able to succeed. You know what? I have bins. I have janitors. So, you know, they just need to stop complaining. Roctopus, not that exciting. So let's build the kickflip here. Kickflip, let's raise you up. I wonder if I can actually get it, like, level. Or if, you know what? Maybe I just might make the queue hanging out over there. I don't know. I don't know. What, what seems like a good idea? Probably, like... Let's see. Let's place this right around here, maybe? Hmm. Do you want to rotate it a bit? Yeah, you know what? Let's rotate it a bit. Why not? Okay, I just want to look. I want to place it as close as I can over the monster, and they'll like look over and actually maybe rotate it. That way isn't that the best idea because it'll look a little weird. Let's do that, just like that. I'm sure the queue will not like this, but whatever. Yeah, it looks like it has to. Wait, is it level? Did I actually make it level? Hold on. Hold the phone. I will check that in a second. Where do we go around? We have to probably go around here to actually get the path outwards, which is going to cost a bit. Ooh, didn't plan that out right enough. Okay, well, well, well enough. So let's just add the place to exit, actually, yeah. I'll place it here for now, but if I have to move it, I will. Let's connect the paths up right... It looks like it's, it might just connect easily, actually. Er, I saw it. There was a second. There we go. I don't even want to look at what it looks like. It probably looks really fug. I see that weird bend there. I know. It's, it's terrible. Just terrible. We're just going to connect it over here. Whew. C like, make it into kind of a circle around the monster. So we can walk around and actually, like, see it and look at it and enjoy its creepiness. And, you know, think they're, they're actually going to fall. I'm pretty sure, like, some asshole kid is going to come around and knock someone into the, the pit. So that wouldn't surprise me at all. Let's just go here and a little more. 
I kind of want to circle around this ride. Can go down. Oh, no, a little shorter. Can I go down all the way? Come on. Come on. Obstructed. Obstructed. Oh, fine. This isn't working out the way I wanted it to, huh? Okay, let's take a look at what's going on here. Today I feel like just bidipu songs instead of actually making actual lyrics here. So let me, yeah, I guess I'll curve it this way and down. It, w it won't go down for me. I don't know why it's not going down. That would be why. Okay, okay, hold on. Uh, it's, it's, that was my derp. I don't know why I'm like failing here. I can lower it there, just like that. And we can, can we curve it here? Good, uh, good, good, good. Okay, and curve it right in there. Okay, good. So we can open this one up since, you know, it took forever to freaking make the path. I apologize. But this right is now open and we have like a kind of sort of weird circle going on here. This one's not really exactly a circle, but that, that'll work. Let's see, what else do we have to do? We have to build one more ride and hire two mechanics. So we have no mechanics right now, so if something breaks, it's uh, a big whoopsie. So let's place one here, and let's place the other one somewhere over here. They're far enough apart, so... Ooh, that transition. Oh, man. I was actually uh, kind of sort of looking forward to making a roller coaster today, but we really don't need one. We just need to build one more ride. I have not built the Psychola, which I can build around here. Maybe I can, like, make it out here or something and attach both paths there. So let's do that. Let's add the Psychola right there. The Psychola, as I've seen in other playthroughs, usually doesn't make much money. Maybe it's just the way other people have been playing. I don't know. But I, uh, I have zero faith that this ride can actually bring in people. But I'm making it anyway because uh, why the hell not? All right, so now we have to take a look at the path here. I don't want to make the queue too long at all. Okay, I am like, okay, queue, come on. Nope. There we go. It's like sliding downward, even though I want it upwards. Go up, thanks. Up. Jesus Christmas. This queue is not agreeing with me, you guys. It's just not at all. I'm like trying. It's just like sliding side by side. It's like a octopus right now. Like, yeah, I don't know what I did, why I just did that. Come on, go up, buddy. That, that one goes kind of up. This is like as far as I can really get it. Like that's super ridiculous. It's, it just looks really stupid. Hold on there. Let me see if I can actually add more parts that go upwards. Or if I can go, like maybe do it here and like lower it. Like I see where I am right now. Uh, Q antics. This is literally like, you know, super micromanaging. Oh, oh, nope. That didn't work. I mean, I can loop it around the whole ride, but I feel like that would be kind of pointless. What the f... They're like little... Yeah, this is like the octopus. It looks like the octopus right now. Okay, well, that was a bad idea. So let's just get rid of all this crap. Go away, Psychola. We're gonna have to rebuy it and then move it somewhere else. I kind of want to move it here. Oh, wait, can I? Holy crap, I can. Well, that, that'll make it interesting. It'll, it'll finally be an interesting ride, you guys. There we go. Um, sure. Maybe that's a little high. I don't know. I want to place the entrance somewhere over here. Place the exit somewhere over here. And let's see if this actually works now. So we're going to have to lower this. It's, it's already not behaving. Although now it's on solid ground. I think that's a long enough queue. So let's finish it off with a little bit of this. Whoa. Okay. Um, creature awakens. Medium objectives complete. Cool. So we just got to start our uh, silver star objectives. We need to get another 500 or so guests. Ooh. That actually connects. Another 500 or so guests in the park. So we can actually complete the gold star objectives. So that's going to take a little while. Especially since we have no roller coasters right now. And look at that. The queue is actually quite nice. Which, you know, if I do say so myself, it did build it over a very nice place. Although we did cover up the monster. But people can still see it over or, you know, under the Psychola. So now, we have to hire two entertainers. Oh boy. Paying their salaries is probably not going to help with uh, maintaining money in the park. But let's see. Uh, King Coaster Deluxe. King Coaster Regular. Or, you know, it is a pirate place. So... 
Let's hire a massive pirate. I don't know what kind of person is that tall or that massive. I mean, maybe they can hire like someone who has like some kind of form of gigantism or something like that. That would make sense. And we're going to hire a golden coaster buddy or whatever it's called. And we're going to place them all the way over here so that they can actually make their way around because there's really nothing over here. There's just rides, like deadly rides. So I want to see where is it? Guests. So it's mostly adult groups, then teen groups, and then family groups. It seems thirst, hunger, happiness, energy. Okay. Litter is disgusting. The queue for Whirly Rig is full. That's going to happen. I've been queuing for the Krakus Life for ages. Sorry, but I didn't build that. So I wish there were more, more rides. Dude, I just built more rides. Er, da -ba -da, the queue, queue. It's mostly queue issues, which, I mean, what am I going to do about it? I, I can extend the queues, but then they're not going to be happy about the long queues. They wish there were more rides. I mean, there's five rides now, so that should be fine. We still have a litter problem. Where is this litter problem happening? I need to clean that up as soon as possible. Let's see. Litter problems. Litter, litter. I see a bins here, so there shouldn't be litter problems over here. Okay, fine. I'll place some more bins along this path. Maybe... Huh. Okay. Okay. I see you there. I think there's a fast pass, right? I mean, I don't know how that would have pa fast pass here, but okay. Let's see. Litter. I'm not seeing litter problems. What are these people looking at? I think they're imagining things, you guys. Oh, man. I'm, I'm actually starting. We're like at 6.50 something. I'm starting to think we should probably run a marketing campaign, first of all. Let's, uh... Ooh, 5,000. We can't afford that. Online campaign. Uh, adults, but fewer families. Um teens but fewer adults we'll just run the newspaper advertisement and yeah i'll find auto renew works we can run two campaigns right now so maybe we can also run let's see attracts more groups of teenagers some te yeah for some teenagers so i'm also going to add some more bins let's see if that that marketing campaign helps because we just need 400 right yep we need well, less than 400 now but we just need the, just a few more people to actually be able to th complete this scenario which is you know we're getting there so let's add some more bins around so people will stop complaining about the litter issue. I, I feel like... Oh, crap. You know what? Getting these bins to align with the paths is probably one of the more annoying things. But I love the flexibility. Love, love, love that you can actually, like, move things around as much as possible. So let's just drop a few bins here and there. There are two janitors around who will be able to clean all that stuff up. And maybe, just maybe, we won't have the litter problems anymore. Let's see. This red gets off on this side, so we'll put some bins over here. Might as well put some toilets somewhere over here because after they're getting off that ride, they're probably going to be going, going to get sick, especially after seeing the octopus down there. Let's add some bins over here to the beginning, just in case people are like walking down here and they're just like, oh, I have trash, but I want to go on the ride. What do I do with that? Like, don't you hate it when that happens? Like me, personally, I just do the lame thing and I shove everything in my pockets, even though th I feel like that's probably not safe, but I do it anyway. It's probably not even, you know, sanitary. It's gross. Like, why would you shove, like, dirty food wrappers in your pockets? But why, you know, if you're excited to do something, why run around and <laughs> avoid actually doing what you want to do? Well, let's see. We have sci-fi chief beef. Yeah, let's not. I want to put some bathrooms over here. Restrooms. We can do fairy tale or another toilet shack. Pirate toilets. These are the double-sided ones, so oh, that, this would have been a nice spot for them, but it's a little, it's a little not working out for me right now. Huh? Where do we want to put toilets? Because I don't think there are toilets here. I haven't seen toilets. You know what? We'll just uh, we'll put them just like here, somewhere here. Ooh, okay. Yeah, let's connect them there, and then we connect. We can connect them around the back too. So let's see, path. Straight and slightly curvy and can you curve in there? Ooh, that looks a little weird, but I will accept. I accept that path. And are they already open? Is that what it is? I can't even click on them. They better be already open because I don't know what else to do if they're not. So those bathrooms are open. I <laughs> probably aren't close enough to freaking Psychola, but you know, I was going to have to work. I, I can't. I, can try to put them there but it's not gonna work like i tried to put it in right over here and that just didn't work out for me so we have almost 800 people in the park right now we are getting there maybe i should try to build a roller coaster but with we have like hardly any funds and do you have any coasters uh 
I mean, it's all and there were none there. Wait, what? I can below uh, the American Arrow. So the base cost. Oh, it's only for adults and teens, which is fine because you know our park is only really for adults and teens at the moment. Where the hell is it on this list? That's weird. I guess there's no blueprint for it, so you have to build it all on your own. We have plenty of space to actually be building this coaster. We can like build it out over here. We can build it out on this side. I think I'm gonna start building out here. And you know, if the scenario ends. I probably won't finish the coaster, like, you know, if it just completes. So, let's see, we have until here. So we can probably build this tiny, tiny coaster, or we can turn it this away. And maybe make it, no, I don't want it to go up. I want it to go, there we go. Can this even be placed here? It looks a little weird. Let's see. Probably here. Oh, can. Okay, totally can. Okay, good. So, let's see. What do I want to do? Do I want to make it... I don't really want to make it fear, but usually that's what I'm good at. That's what I uh, That's what I succeed at with these roller coasters. I just want to keep with the chain lift. Let's uh, go up a little faster. Chain lift. Oh, okay. How do I do this? Oh, that's way too uh, inclined there. Alright, so this is... Uh, let's see. Build track piece with this. Aha! Got it. I'm figuring this out nice and slowly. That's what he said. Okay, so we're going to make like a little, like, uh, a little higher, and then we're going to just flatten out this part of the chain lift. Do I want to just, yeah, just like that. Good. And uh, do I want another flat part, or do I want it to go like down, like immediately down? Maybe I want it to go. Just like that. Yeah, that's perfect. But I don't want it to be... Wait, is this a chain lift? Because I don't think that is. I might have to replace... Yeah, that's not a chain lift. God damn it. Okay. Let's, uh... I guess control Z it all up. There's only one piece that's... There's apparently no pieces. Okay, hold on. I want to restart this right from scratch. Because I totally messed that up. So let's turn this here. It starts there. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. Chain lift piece. I want you. You are my choice of piece for this roller coaster. Good. Okay, now it's staying that way. Good. Okay, so now we can maybe... Sure. Three, four... It's going at a little different angle here than what I wanted, but... No, you know what? I won't accept that. I will not accept it. I get so anal about these things. I am sorry. Let's uh, raise this again. Is it the highest it goes? That is the highest it goes. Okay. How about you? That is totally the highest it goes. Fine. Okay, fine. Fine. I will accept it. Uh, one, two, three maybe? And then flatten it out. I mean, if I don't finish this coaster design now, I'll probably finish it in another scenario, honestly, because I kind of sort of want to make this coaster. It, uh, it's seeming to me like it might be something really interesting. Let's, uh, did, wait, was that piece of, okay, it was. Hmm. Build that, then flatten this one, right? That's what I wanted to do. I can't remember if that was the right thing. I may just have added an extra piece here. So let's see, that one's going to end up a little flat. So yeah, you know what? Let's add that with the chain lift, and then let's make it a regular one. Let's dip it down. We made only $630 this time. But that's, that's okay. So we're going to dip it down here, and I think you can see what's coming. I think you can totally see what's coming. So we're just going to... Let's get rid of this now that I kind of sort of know what I'm doing. So we're just going to make it just like... Oh, there's a hill here, isn't there? All right, so we can't really continue on downwards in our... Or are we out of money? We are out of money. Crap. So <clears throat> where do we get our loans here? Graphs, finances. There we go. It's just like, where... <gasps> We can't get loans for this scenario, you guys. We're we're shit out of luck again. God damn it. Well, you can see what kind of coaster I kind of sort of want to build here. And this is basically where I'm going to start with the next coaster. Like, with this same framework. We're pretty much almost done with this scenario with just building the same five rides. Well, you know, just five basic rides. And then fast forwarding through the scenario to just get it done. These first few scenarios are pretty easy. There's no entrance for American Arrow. What are you talking about? Oh, this one. I was just like, what the hell are you talking about? 
So we're gonna get rid of that, and we just completed the gold star uh, objective for the creature awakens. So that was again another easy scenario. This one just I don't know, it went a little faster. Though our park cash isn't going so hot right now, but uh, it, it's it's you know doing a little better than before. We do have a, a psychola right over here over the creature that's you know awakening. Which means that as soon as that thing goes up, the Psychola gets blasted off and then everybody on it dies. Which is kind of sort of what you would want to do in Roller Crest Cyclone 1 and 2. So, you know, that that's... it's a happy time. <laughs> Not really. Rest in peace, everybody on the Psychola. But anyway, that is it for this episode of Planet Coaster Career Mode. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more. I have new Planet Coaster videos every single day up until... Well, actually, I probably will continue this even after Lux and I get started on our challenge, but I want to complete all the career uh, career scenarios because I think it's kind of fun. I like this. But anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching, and have an awesome night.